the topic of variation SPM paper 1 okay now this is the simplest type of variation that is direct variation now here I have a clone question based on the year 2003 let's see how this is done now you are given x varies as y cube and when x equals to 24 y equals to 2 you are asked to express x in terms of y now the important thing in this topic is the con constant k let's see how this is done how x varies as y cube therefore x is equal to k times you see this is important k times y cube where where k is a constant okay fixed value right when when x equals to 24 and y equals to 2 we substitute the values here here and here therefore 24 is equal to k times 2 cube what is 2 cube 8 bring this down 24 over 8 equals to k therefore k equals to 3 this is important the value of k now we substitute the value of k here so what do we get therefore x is equal to 3 times y cube 3 times y cube this is your answer very very simple thank you hi here i have for you a clone question based on the year 2005 okay direct variation okay you're given p varies directly as the cube root of q when p is 12 q is 27 now you're asked to find the value of q when p is 8 as usual we must find the value of k see therefore p is equal to k times cube root of q where k is a constant k is a constant now we put in these two values p equals to 12 when q equals to 27 so you write down when p equals to 12 and Q equals to 27. We put these values here. 12 goes here. 27 goes here. So you get 12 equals to K times cube root of 27. Bring this down. So what do you get? 12 over, what is the cube root of 27? 3. So 12 over 3 is equal to k 12 over 3 is 4 you have found the value of k now we substitute the value of k here so now we get p equals to therefore p is equal to 4 times cube root of q times cube root of q okay now when p is equal to 8 when p is equal to 8 substitute here 
Okay? A is equal to 4 times cube root of Q. Bring this down. 8 over 4. What is 8 over 4? Is 2. So, cube root of Q is equal to 2. What do we do now? We cube both sides. Cube root of Q, when you cube it, you get Q. Okay? 2 to the power of 3 is 8. This is your answer. As simple as that. Thank you. Hi. Here I have for you a clone question based on the year 2006. Paper 1, SPM. Okay, you're given x varies directly as the square root of y. And you're given when x is 30, y is 36. Now you're asked to find the value of y when x is 15. As usual, we have to find the value of k, the constant. Okay, let's see how this is done. From here, therefore, x equal to k times square root of y. When you multiply by k, you put an equal sign. Right? Next step. When x equals to 30 and y equals to 36, put the two values here. Okay, x 30, y 36. Find the value of k first. 30 is equal to k times square root of 36. What is the square root of 36? 6. Bring the 6 down. 30 over 6 equals to k. k is equal to 5. We have found the value of k. Now we transfer the value of k here. So, what do we get? Therefore, x is equal to 5 times the square root of y. Okay, get it? Now, you substitute the value of x. When x is 15, when x equals to 15, we put 15 here, right? So 15 is equal to 5 times square root of y. Bring the 5 down. 15 divided by 5 is 3. Square root of y equals to 3. We are supposed to find the value of y. So what we do? We square both sides like this. So when we square, square root of y, when you square, you get y. 3 squared equals to 9. That is your answer. As simple as that. Thank you.